and uh, we are going to move forward. So sadly, I wasn't able to get back into Orimo's gang, but he's just going to join mine, and we're going to retrace our steps. Indeed. Except this time it's going to actually be a complete walkthrough, so we're going to take care of this guy. As he runs as he's an door. asshole. And we're going to open this treasure up for these stones, which are very, very helpful. Which we to... finally see demonstrated in this video. Yes. Okay, then out this way. Following you. Okay, and here we have another giant. And boom, 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 roll, and let me finish him off. Boom. Dead. Okay. Hopefully I don't have my height pro. I don't... Uh, it, what I felt was so... Unexpected. You should probably fight him two-handed with that halberd. Going one-handed is kind of a waste. Okay. Okay, and we're going to come here, and we're going to throw a Chaos Fireball at these guys, just to get rid of them quickly. And oh god, they hurt. Die. Die. Die! Come on, you're dead. Well, I'm going to heal real quick. That would be a good idea. He's got his healing magic still. I have healing magic. I just don't have it equipped. I said, fire magic. No, in my opinion, pyromancy is the best way to go. Uh, I, I, I still don't like the healing magic because it doesn't even uh, heal as much as a standard flask. Hmm. Oh, the crystal armor. This this stuff sucks. Uh, here's here's something that you guys uh, will learn when you play this game is that crystal weapons are extremely powerful in the very beginning, but unfortunately, when they break, you cannot just go and repair them. The only way that you can actually fix them is by taking them to a blacksmith and actually uh, upgrading it to like plus one or plus two. That's the only way you can fix uh, crystal weapons. And when it becomes it's maximum, it's broken forever, and it's a waste of money. Exactly. Now, at the very beginning, before I discovered the Black Knight Halberd, I was in love with a uh, crystal halberd that I found back at, at Orlando. And that thing was sexy as hell, because in all honesty, I... I Part of me kind of prefers uh, using a halberd to a traditional sword, uh, mm -hmm. but I do find myself actually using a sword whenever we are running the risk of getting invaded for PvP. Yes. Oh. That nice halberd, job. though, only has a 20 durability. I, cause I got it as well, but I don't want to use it because it, it'll just break in like three swings or something. Yes. So how did you keep it alive so long? Uh, the crystal over? Yeah. I just kept upgrading it. Uh. Okay, we're gonna go forward, and this is probably something I should have done. Uh, I equip the stones, and we watch for the snow. Watch okay, we watch. know that going straight is right here. Oh, there we are. We're almost back to where we were. Then we yes, yes. And we are going to actually want to kill this guy. That's something I found out. So... Go, Orimo! Durr! Ow. He hurt like a mother. <laughs> okay. You bastard, that hurt. Right, I'm going to heal you. Okay, there we go. And that was me using up three of my flasks. 
uh, and we're going to walk down here. And I actually found out that the only reason why you would walk down here is to get the item. But uh, I'm, I'm a greedy son of a bitch, hmm. so I'm going to go and get it. And I'm going to throw down a prism stone just to give you guys an idea. So this stone here will act as a path marker. Oh, I see. And so, if the stone falls, uh, then you know that the path ends right there. Huh. And you want to keep it in as much of a straight line as possible. Alright. Not a place to kill me. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, I will take the lead and cover me. Okay. Burn! Die. And this is a blue to tonight chunk, and, uh,. The, the reason why those are important is because I believe blue is actually for magic weapons. Okay. And so you see, I used four stones, and it is a straight line to the top, but we're going to be careful right here. And it's a safe journey. So, Perhaps oh. indeed, not dead. Uh, you you want to stick as close to the left as possible here because it will actually force you to slide down into that crystal and it will kill you. It just like tried what's to. happening to Ori. <laughs> it tried to. I'm just a very heavy guy. I suppose. And I don't remember what we need to do here. I recall, Audio. yes, we dropped down onto this path here. And lucky for us, uh, some nice players have already laid down some summon signs to point us in the right direction. Wonderful. I'll never see these in my game. <laughs> we'll be screwed. Now, we are just about to enter the boss, and Orimo, what could be the pos the scariest monster you could possibly imagine that would be waiting for us before the boss. I, I want you to take a guess. Scariest monster we could deal with right now would possibly be a bunch of those... Something epic, right? Yeah. Something... Giant clams! Clams? Clams. Oh, I see. Really? Yeah, we're going to want to handle these things one at a time. Okay. Now, you can run past this, but uh, there have been some reports that these things will actually follow you into the boss room. And oh, we sure as hell want that. Die, Clam, die! When they die, they typically uh, open up their mouth and they do typically have a item waiting for you inside. Oh! So, there's some of the clam. Hey, you're like a living treasure that's not a mimic. Open. Now, most of the time, they don't actually have anything. Oh. But when they do, I believe it's the rare uh, form of titanite or titanite or however the hell you pronounce it. We can it it's been, been a while. I've been out of the Dark Souls community for a couple of years. The only reason why he's back is because I burnt the game! Uh, uh. Gormo called me on Skype and said, I need help at this hard level. Please, come help me. <laughs> and uh, I, I, I didn't want to watch uh, him play. Oh yeah, they dropped uh, a Twinkling Tentonite, which you can easily buy at the Blacksmith right. at Orlando, but if you don't want to spend the 8,000 souls per crystal, then uh, you can and just come here and grind. Uh, so well, I'm gonna heal us now. Okie doke. Oh, and, and there's another stone sign we can summon friend. That would be perfect. Even though it's gonna make the boss drummer. New friend, new friend, new Who friend. Who could it be? Who is uh, our special uh, guest? 
So look directly forward. You see that shining star? Shining, yeah. Right past all the dead people. Star. What we have to do is we have to run around the dragon and actually destroy the star. It is actually a sword. And if we don't actually destroy it in time, then the dragon is just going to continue regenerating health and we'll never kill him. Ah, oh, he's that douche Oh, hello, buddy. And we're going to wake to our new friend. Hi, buddy. So, now let's get started. Okay. This is a very difficult boss battle. Now, what I want to do is I want to cut off the uh, the tail of the dragon, and that will actually allow me to pick up a Moonlight Greatsword. Now, unfortunately, when I was playing with uh, with Orimo in uh, the, uh, the Painting World, uh, he unfortunately hit the uh, 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 Priscilla way too hard and killed him before I was able to get the chance to cut off the tail. So this time, I'm going to back off until he gets what he needs. <laughs> yeah, but to be fair, the move like Red Sword isn't that amazing. I mean, I don't use it, it's just for the more uh, shiny factor. Okay. There's a tail! Wait, I shouldn't be doing that. Okay, we had to get to this shot, this, this thing you want me to break. Where is that? I, I would throw the thing. Oh, you brought the thing. Oh. Tell me when I can, and uh. Very careful with his crystals. Take. When can the I attack him? will actually curse you. His, uh, his breath. That he's doing now. Yes. That will curse you. And that's bad if you remember what I was just telling you a few minutes ago. Yes. Oh, he's about a quarter of the way dead already. Did you get your weapon? No. No, he just smacked me out of oblivion. Okay, guys, uh, say hello to the dragon. We're warping away. We get at least here in a battle. That figured. Hope our buddy's still alive. Oh, yeah, he is, he is. He's That's distracting the dragon while I go to town on his tail. Oh, this single tail swipe that took me out. That's annoying. Yeah, guys, I may look bad at the bosses, but if you PvP me, I I, I haven't died much against players lately. <laughs> so, watch out. Oh, shit, my friend just died. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It, well, his HP bar w wasn't that high when I left, so you have a chance of winning. But this Oh, uh, not really. Because uh, I think that he's still multiplied by three, so now he's three times as strong as he was when I would usually take him on one off one. Oh, so. Oh, crap. You don't have enough flasks? Or, uh, I don't know. I'm not there. I can't see. I don't have any flasks left because I was using them to heal you. I don't know why I took so many. I only have so much vitality. Is it fun, everybody? Running around the bonfire, we wait to hear the life and death story of Dante. <laughs> oh, it's an epic battle! Oh, I bet it is. Everyone, imagine, imagine what the dragon is doing to him. Dragon killed me. Damn, Dante! Uh, I thought you were epic. It, it, <laughs> it, it threw me into a corner, and it did a triple tail attack. Overkill. Yep, yep. But it doesn't matter. I I wasn't gonna get the tail anyway, or the sword anyway. So, mm. all right, guys. That's it. Oribo and I are gonna try and uh, get back into the room, and uh, that's about it. Yeah. We are taking our second to try at getting to this boss. Uh, yeah. Except this time, we're actually gonna be using my playthrough instead of Oribo's. Uh, I wasn't able to get into his game, so. Uh, what we're just going to do is we're just going to do a speed run instead. We don't need any of those really shitty items. Uh, in my opinion, they're not worth the effort. So what we're going to do is we're just going to run down past all these golems. I can see that, since you're like a mile ahead of me. Oh, you know what? Going, going, going. You're being chased by two huge guys. 
I know that they follow us down there too. <laughs> Jeez. Coming. And you have him to fight with. Summoning failed. Really? Who else were you summoning? Uh, I found some random guy over uh, at the bonfire, and I just figured I'd summon him for the hell of it. Because, <laughs> you know, the more the barrier, we'd like to include fans in the Let's Play. Oh, yes, even though, even though they don't know that they're fans. <laughs> oh, they don't know they're fans yet. That That's the key. That's the key. Huh. Like, uh, we're, we're Game Grumps 2.0. <laughs> They, 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 they just know, know, know that they're fans, yet they, they'll, they'll realize that they're fans, eventually, if, if anyone actually watches these videos. If they ever find it, I, I guess the... Oh, damn. Where did... Over here, okay. You and being two miles ahead of me. You have a bad habit of doing. I can't help uh, that I'm just faster than you. It, it, it's that one metalocalypse internet meme. It's uh, uh, how how do I say this? I'm I'm just I'm just so much gooder than you. Oh damn it! Okay, <laughs> I had to hop out of that. That was a stupid sucking area. No. As you guys can tell, I hate the high places. I always have up. Here we go. Slowly following. Oh, and... What do you guys think of a giant boss down there? It's not the one we were fighting, but... We already did fight it, but... You know, it's there. <laughs> Below us. Oh, yeah, no, the butterfly. That, that's the moonlight uh, butterfly. Yeah, I don't want we, to do that. We don't it give a shit about him. him. Now, these stones are really important if you're going to be playing offline or something like that. What you can do is you can just throw them onto the invisible ground and they'll just hover right there. Mm. Now, originally what these stones are pretty much used for is uh, if there's a really high jump that you're not sure that you're going to be able to make or not, if you actually throw the stone down, uh, it will emit this very strange ring and it will let you know if, if the fall will kill you or not. Oh, that's nifty. Oh, and everybody, these are clams. Clams of death. Perfect clams. I, I, I just freaking love it. Right before or the gigantic ass dragon that just betrays his own kind, the, the legendary dragon, last dragon in existence, and his bodyguards is a bunch of clams. <laughs> like, are you shitting me? Ouch. Damn clams. Alright, hold on. I'm gonna kill you. Even with a super armor, it's not. Wait a second. Oh, uh, actually. Yeah, I you dummy. I see it. Let's get out of that menu. Everybody's gotta hate the menu. It doesn't let you attack when you're in the menu. No, it does let you attack. It just doesn't let you use items and shit like that, which is why I keep telling you to never uh, stay in the menu. <sighs> I was just gonna put on my stamina shield so I wouldn't run out of stamina so quickly. Oh yeah, go ahead and do that now. Yeah, you're way too damn heavy. There we go. No, I'm getting equip some better armor. I want to see which one has the best curse resistance. Better armor didn't have an armor. Okay. Oh, no, 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 the Havel armor is the best for physical. The curse-resistant one is uh, that King Jeremiah armor. <coughs> Bless, Bless me. Bless you. <coughs> so we got our humanities, and I will equip a twin humanity to use as a backup. Okay. This guy is a strong boss area can be challenged. All right, what we're going to want to do is we're going to run right past him. And we're actually going to want to attack the uh, the bright star that is actually a sword. That hurt a lot. It will allow us to actually damage him. Oh wow, you're about to die. He hit me with this huge crystal 
wave of death as I was following I, him. I figured. Alright. Yeah, you can attack over there. I'm, I'm, no, you're, you're gonna die, buddy. Feel it! Get your freaking... Oh, there's a body of someone who failed. It's probably someone less awesome than me. Oh, I love it. Go oh, I hope you can do that. Damn, damn, Why stupid. I am, but he's like raining shit down on me and out of there. Don't attack him. I need to get this sword. I can't really do anything being dead. <laughs> Died? Yeah, he kept on raining down shit, but I can't move. You got it? Yeah. Win! Don't let him kill you! Oh no, I'm gonna die. He he totally killed me. Crap. He did one of those cheap uh, triple tail attacks again. You got tailed. I just got <laughs> stuck with all of those spikes coming up from the ground, pinning me against yeah, this him. Time, this time we can beat him because now I have the sword. True. And I will show it to the viewers when I get to summon you. So, guys, we're going to take a quick break and we will be right back. All right. Yeah. Keep on running, running, and running, running, and running, running, and running, running. <laughs> if, if that's the case, then you're going to get extra evil phantoms in here. If you're a uh, no, 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 no. What, what people do is they take that red stone from uh, the painting level and uh, they, they leave down a red summon sign, and you can allow them to invade your game if you want to PvP. Oh, oh, that's what that is. But the one about the Grave Lord thing. I, I honestly don't remember that much about the Covenants. I mean, it's been, like like I said, like two years since I actually played this game. Like two, two and a half years. I, I forget when this game came out. Uh, oh, are you recording, I, by the way? Uh, we should be. Okay, good. I I yeah, we're recording. And we're just gonna run past this asshole. Okay. I wanna do that. Yeah. Good idea. Instead of fighting and falling over. That would have sucked. Well, fighting him and uh, me having to heal you with more of those flasks because since you do. Since you have that urge to just kill everything we come across. Uh, every single time we, we freaking get anywhere, uh, you need me to spend, like, six flasks just to revive you. Well, yeah, I, I like fighting. <laughs> fighting is fun. It's just costly. Okay. So I would rather enter the boss with ten flasks and see if I can help you out more. Since guys, that that is something that you guys should know. Uh, when you do bring a phantom into uh, your game, that phantom cannot heal himself with the, those flasks. The only way that he can actually heal himself is by either using magic or by actually uh, uh, using humanity. Crap! Crap! Ah, yeah, there was a lot of nothing in front of me. I'm lucky I made it across. <laughs> yep, yep. You know what would be even better? Instead of, uh, clams? What? Crabs. <laughs> Crab battle. Do, 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 do. Crab battle. Huh. At this rate, uh, I can run here myself. It's not really that many things blocking the way, except for the clams. Unless they can actually kick my butt on their own. Die, evil clam! Clam of skulls! I, I just love it. We just get freaking invaded and just kill all of them in like four hits. <laughs> Very simple. I, 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 I just love it. Alright, so now that we're ready, uh, I'm gonna heal both of us up to maximum. Which is... And I've got nine flasks in reserve. So and... we should be more than ready this time. Yeah, you know it. Um, okay, uh, that is it. You ready? Yeah. Let's kick some butt! Three, 
two, one. Don't Remember to go in two-handed. Your, your shield is not going to freaking do anything. Okay, switching over. Yeah, demon! Did you die already? No, I just rolled into him. I'm attacking. I'm healing you, hold up. Okay. What the hell? Fucking orange mode. I was being healed. I had life, and then all of a sudden I dropped dead. I don't get that. God damn it. I don't get it. You the, can take damage while being healed and still freaking die. But I was in the middle of attacking too. He he wasn't doing anything. That didn't make any sense. Viewers, you saw. Leave a comment about how I died. Make sense of it. God hates you. Yeah, the basically. End. I'm never going to get past this boss. Ever. I'm going to have to bring two phantoms with me and let them do it. <laughs> but then I have to go after the tail. Damn it. Hmm. <laughs> tricky, tricky. How's it going on your end? I got it down a little over half. Uh, I'm about to die. Don't die! This is like the last recording we can do at the moment. I got first. No! I got cursed. That, that has actually never happened to me before. Uh, oh no. This is really, really bad. Uh, when I'm cursed, uh, I am, like, goddamn, when I'm cursed, my HP is half. Half HP, half attack, half everything? Uh, pretty much, yeah. And you got no item to fix yourself? Nope. So only a miracle is going to save you now. Uh, no, I actually have to keep the level, go back to freaking New Wando Ruins, find that asshole who sells the item for Cursed, or just go back up to the Gargoyle level, and then come back. Ah. Oh. You mean it won't go away when you go to a bonfire? No. That is evil. It's Curse. Huh. I see you. Hi. Everyone can see you. I can see you. Now you're gone. I'm pouting. I'm pouting. Leave me alone. <laughs> God damn it. <sighs> damn that dragon. Fucking Oreo. Died in the first two seconds. It happens. Even in the ultimate armor. It happens. It was the ultimate dragon. No one else has ever gotten there. All these ghosts, they can't even get there. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No one first. else has ever been in the game before in the history of the game. Exactly. Like, there's no goddamn thing as New Game Plus or New Game Plus 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 Plus. What is that? What are you talking about? I, I don't about? know. I don't know. It's apparently legend now. Yeah, no one's done that. I saw you just get up. I've got myself in this picturesque frame of the sun, and I'm looking into the into the clouds, and then... It, 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 don't you love the graphics of this game? Oh, I thought that you were saying that you wore the sunshine. I was going to do that Eric Cupman reference with the tiny little Cupid. You may be a sunshine. <laughs> I'm waving at the star. Okay. I rarely ever use those gestures. Uh, no, you don't. And that makes you a bastard. Because when people come into your game, they want you to bow to them. They want you to say hi. And all you ever do is just try attacking them just so that you can pretend you're dancing. <laughs> You're an asshole. I like to protect a little bit of humanity that I have. And they always come when I don't want them to come. Oh, Dark Souls. I know. They always try to enter our damn videos. Okay. So, guys, I'll, I'll see you later. Maybe later, we'll kill a dragon.